drama as gospel singers Messi Chinwo and Master GUC unfollows themselves on Instagram. Also, controversy online has leaked song from Davido's album Timeless Surface. And Messi Johnson endorses Vaughn as Black Boy writes appreciation letter to Kanaga Jr. So my people now do welcome back to this channel. If now your first time with this, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget to turn on post notification because now waiting will notify you be that whenever we drop out this for this channel. Also, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share. So recently there has been a lot of buzz for social media as popular Nigerian gospel singers, Messi Chinwo and Minister GUC, don't follow each other for Instagram. This move don't cause many of their fans to speculate about what might have happened between the two singers, especially as they have previously worked together on various occasions. So, upon closer inspection, Ide discovered say the two gospel ministers are no longer following each other for Instagram. This discovery don't prompt many to wonder if there is any underlying issue between them. Adding fuel to the fire, Minister GUC posted a somewhat cryptic message for his Instagram page, which many interpreted as a veiled attack on Messi Chinhu, for him post in talk about ungraceful people, leading some to believe that he was calling out Messi Chinhu for being unappreciative. The unfollowing of each other for social media by these two gospel singers don't lead to a lot of mixed reaction from their fans and social media users. Some don't criticize them for being hypocritical, arguing that as gospel ministers, they should not be seen to be keeping malice with one and other. Others don't defend them, saying it is normal for people to get disagreement and it is not always necessary to broadcast them to the public. Regardless of what led to the unfollowing, it is hoped that both Mr. Chinwo and Minister GUC can find a way to reconcile and continue to use their gifts to spread the message of hope and love that gospel music brings. Another person who will to get again from our gist now, Davido, a well-known Nigerian musician, went on the work on a highly anticipated album, Timeless, which he previously announced to be released on March 31st. However, Ibila like says some tracks from the album have leaked online, causing a stir among social media users and fans of the artist. The leaked tracks, including No Competition, a collaboration with Ashake, don't already garner attention for Twitter, with snippets of the song being shared by users who don't gain access to them. This has led to a surge in excitement and anticipation for the official release of the album. The leaked album shows that Davido collaborated with big musicians such as Ashake, Skepta, and a host of notable artists. The leak of the album's track don't raise concern among some cybernauts who are questioning how the tracks could have been leaked and the impact it might have on the album release. Some fans are even speculating that the lead could lead to a delay for the album release. But despite the leak, the video fans are still eagerly anticipating the official release of the album and are expressing their support for the artist. It remains to be seen how the leak will affect the album's reception and sources once it is officially released. Who is the get again for our gist now? Nollywood actress Mercy Johnson Okoje will not show support for Big Brother Titans housemate Von Goswe as the final draws near. Referring to Von as a sweetheart, Mercy requested a vote from her fans to crown her the winner on Sunday. In other news, Deborah Eneche, the daughter of Pastor Paul Eneche, don't pen down a sweet note to herself as she marks 28th birthday celebration. For her Instagram page, Deborah described herself as a sweet girl who deserves the absolute best the world can offer. Sharing a lovely picture of herself, she captioned her with an open letter to my younger self. Dear Debbie, you are such a sweet little girl. You deserve the absolute best that the world can offer. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. The God who made you sees you interestedly and loves you so passionately. People are going to ostracize you for being so different and attempt to punish you for refusing the status quo. You will struggle to make or keep friends and stay on the fingers for years. You will be treated poorly by the ones you sacrifice for. You will wonder if you matter because... None may seem to care how you feel. You will struggle with the pressure for perfection, but it won't last forever. 
One day, one day, the world will notice you. One day, the things that made you such an eccentric will be why you will be celebrated. The very people that have torn you down in the past will struggle to associate with you. You will make your family proud. You will make your young people proud. Young people will strive to be like you and follow Abba because of you. Your flaws and missteps will no longer define you. People may still hate you, but this time they won't be able to deny the greatness in you. You will finally love the skin you are born in. You will find the type of love you were made to feel you don't deserve. It will all make sense, D. Just hang in there. I love you. Abba loves you more than you can grasp the concept of the love, and you have a parent, siblings, family, and a whole army of people who do too. So you will have a husband who holds you so dear because you are the most precious gift you will ever have. Just stay close to Jesus. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Feel the warmth of Abba always, even when the world feels cold, even if you have mended from heat. Let him pull you in, and no matter what, don't give up. You have got this. Even when it gets good, just know it's going to get better. Don't be afraid to join it. You are deserving. The last but not the least person who gave our gist now recently evicted BB Titan's housemate, Black Boy, we don't write an appreciation letter to a colleague, Kanaga Jr., for being among the people that genuinely loved him while he was in the house. The visual content creator and fashion model take to his Instagram stories to review this. When Wright say, Looking back into the house and seeing the people that genuinely had good intention towards me, Bro at Kanaga Jr., thank you for being one of them. I'm with you for life. If you remember, say, Black Boy, Justin, and Tabang were evicted during the last eviction night on Sunday. Ebubu, Ipele, Von, Satsi, Kanaga Jr., and Kotsi made it to the final week to fight for the price of $100,000 as viewers get to decide. So, my people, now so the matter take day, now the gist was say, make a brain come give us now in with that. If now your first time with this, don't forget to subscribe before you go. Don't forget to turn on post notification because now we think we notify you with that whenever we drop out gist for this channel. Also, don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and we'll go see for the next gist. Bye.